There are many reasons why you will need to replace your contact tip and nozzle when using a wire feed welder. Changing wire size. The contact tip you are using needs to match the size of wire you are using. For example, 0 .030 wire will need a 0 .030 contact tip. You'll also switch when melted wire collects on the contact tip. This happens when the wire speed is too slow or you are holding the gun too close to the workpiece. If cleaning the tip doesn't remove the melted wire, you will need to replace the contact tip. The main reason to change the nozzle is when switching between MIG and flux cord. MIG nozzles focus shielding gas around the weld, where the flux cord nozzle, being gasless, protects the diffuser threads. The MIG nozzle has a wider opening which directs the shielding gas to the weld. Changing the contact tip and nozzle is an easy process. To get started, press the gun trigger to allow about an inch of wire to come out. You may need to clip the end of the wire if there is a bead of melted wire. Be sure not to touch the workpiece or metal bench as this will cause an arc. Then turn off the welder. Remove the nozzle. Then unscrew the contact tip. If you need pliers to do this, gently apply pressure. Now you are ready to install the new contact tip. Slide the contact tip onto the wire and into the diffuser. Next, screw the contact tip in and gently snug it with pliers. Now, install the nozzle. Clip your wire to a stick out length of 3 8 to 1 half inch. That's it, you're ready to weld. But before you strike an arc, make sure you are following all safety protocols and wear the proper safety gear. And make sure to check out the complete line of Lincoln Electric Welders, consumables, and accessories.